let's take some questions now on propellants for launch vehicles. If size is a problem, how can you handle this? Can you increase the diameter? And what about using strap-on boosters? Well, yes, of course, you know, we can increase the, uh, the diameter of the vehicle uh, so that we have a much larger uh, we have a much larger diameter here and therefore not as tall uh, and uh, this is a possibility but of course one consideration there is that this will imply higher drag because the drag is going to be proportional to the area and so a lot of times you want uh, basically a trade-off between how slender the vehicle is um, <coughs> which a slender vehicle will uh, give you um, less drag but uh, it can have some problems with bending moments um, uh, become important also stability along slender rocket can have some stability problems uh, so on the other hand if you make it uh, or sort of uh, uh, short and stout um, then uh, so we have a wider rocket a wide body vehicle then we have higher drag and that's a significant effect In, uh, in other words, there's going to be a delta V cost to uh, overcome that that drag. So that's uh, one uh, one issue. The uh, the other question about the strap-ons is um, now we can maybe keep the vehicle a little bit um, uh, more slender, and then you put on some strap-ons. Uh, around the vehicle. Now usually these strap-ons are solids. And that implies also um, lower ISP. So uh, you end up, um, <clears throat> uh, this may improve things, in fact you do see it on uh, a number of vehicles. So even though with a lower ISP, uh, you can get higher density. So in fact, I think that the strap-on idea uh, is a good one uh, after looking carefully at these traits. And the nice thing about them is you drop, drop these things off and uh, drop off the, uh, the drag that's associated with it as well.